I have the Feutech G6 gimbal now. And although it's not a new gimbal on the market, it's a new gimbal to me. So today I'll be testing it on my run and I'll compare it to the Feutech G5 and the Cheyenne Crane M2. Last week I got an email from John Lebarski. He's been a follower of the channel for a couple of years now. And we've been in contact over the years through messages and email. Uh, and John has shared with me some of his uh, running journey and his struggles at time. So uh, yeah, we've kind of got to know each other a little bit. And last week he, uh, he emailed me that he sent me a gift. And he didn't want to tell me what it was because it was a surprise. And let me tell you, I was very surprised when the mail showed up and I got a brand new Feutech G6 gimbal. I was just speechless. It, it was amazing. Uh, John told me that uh, he, yeah, he's really been inspired by my videos at times when yeah, it was hard to be motivated and he really appreciates me making all the videos. And he saw it as an investment into uh, getting me to make uh, more and to keep going making more videos so John thank you very much I really appreciate it uh, and I'm really looking forward to making a lot of videos with a new gimbal now right off the bat the differences between the G5 and the G6 is uh, the handle it is a little bit thicker and it's a little bit shorter not by much but you can notice that it holds just a little bit differently uh, the other thing is the LCD screen it has a small screen on there that shows you the battery life, uh, the connection with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and the mode that the gimbal is in. The G6 has an adapter, so you can use your GoPro Hero 8 on there. Uh, you can also still use the 5, 6, and 7, so I can still use my older GoPros on there as well. Now, the functionality is a little bit different than the G5, so it's going to take me a little bit of getting used to which buttons to push to make it do what I want. But overall, the functionality is, is mostly the same. The G6 you can also connect to your camera through Wi-Fi. There's a record button on the gimbal that you can use to start and stop your recording. Now for me, I don't see myself using it that much because when I'm filming my runs, I just start recording when I start running and I just keep it rolling the whole time. I film everything and then I stop it when I'm done running. Uh, but I, I can see how this can come in handy when you're uh, filming, when you're traveling for instance. It just so happened that two days before I got the gimbal in the mail, I got a comment from somebody on a video uh, with a question because they were having problems connecting the GoPro Hero 8 to the G6 gimbal. Uh, I tried to give a, yeah, as good an answer as I could at the time. I didn't have the G6, so I couldn't really test it. Uh, but now that I had the G6, I figured I would give it a shot and try to connect it to my camera, even though I was probably not gonna use the feature myself. Now, uh, Feutech has an app that you can use and it works very well to control the gimbal from a distance or to set up a time lapse. Now, through that, you need to set up your camera as well. I could not get it to recognize my GoPro Hero 8. I wouldn't even see it. Uh, I got it to see my GoPro Hero 6, but even with that one, it wouldn't actually make a connection. I don't think it's an update problem. I've updated everything, the cameras, the the app, uh, the gimbal. So uh, yeah, there's only so much that you can update. Uh, so I don't know what the problem is. I couldn't get it to connect. So maybe that is something for Feutech to look into. I don't know if other people are having the same problem. Uh, if you do, maybe you uh, leave it down below in the comments. I recently also got a question on the video that I did where I did the test with the GoPro Hero 8 on the G5. And uh, the question was if I used any 
uh, post stabilization on the video because it looked really really smooth and it was hard to believe that that was just with the camera and the gimbal but yeah that's what the gimbal does and the stability on the camera does uh, so yeah it would kind of take away from the test if I use stability uh, afterwards and just to let you know on uh, hardly any of my footage I use stability in post because uh, only when I film with my with my phone if there's like a, a, a small part that I film with my phone or a different camera I might use uh, stability in uh, Final Cut Pro but other than that uh, it's all just done with the gimbal and the, the stabilizer from the GoPro. Now the weight of the gimbals the G6 is a little bit shorter but it's a little bit thicker and looks a little bit bulkier so I expected it kind of to be a little heavier than the G5 it is, but not by much. The G5 weighs 469 grams. Um, the G6 only 478 grams. So that's nine grams of a difference, which is nine pennies or two teaspoons of sugar. The Cheyenne Crane M2, however, comes in at 543 grams, which is uh, 74 grams heavier than the G5, which is about eight teaspoons of sugar or 74 pennies. Still, not a whole lot of weight, but if you're carrying it around for a long time, like I sometimes do on my runs, it could make a bit of a difference. The biggest difference with the Cheyenne Crane M2 is that you can fit different kinds of cameras on there. Uh, there's a, a weight limit to it, of course, and the size has to fit on there, but there are a lot of different cameras that you can use on there. Uh, with the Fabiotech G5 and G6, you can pretty much only put action cams on there, and with that, pretty much just to go pros. In his email, John told me that he got the feeling from my videos that I prefer to use the Fabiotech gimbal over the Cheyenne Crane M2. And in a way he is right, because I've been switching back to the Fabiotech G5. I've been using that most of the time. And even though I, I love using the Cheyenne Crane M2, it's a great gimbal. Um, when I was using it on my test runs, uh, it kept slipping. I was touching buttons that would make the camera shift. And at times I thought I was filming something uh, straight ahead and the camera was pointed in a different direction. And I didn't want this to happen during races. So uh, when I took uh, my cameras with me and my gimbals to uh, Walt Disney World, I actually never used the Cheyenne Crane M2. I just used the Fayutech G5. Um, that being said, I love the fact that you can use different cameras on the Cheyenne Crane M2. Uh, so, when I bought it, I bought it with that in mind. I, I knew I could use it for my Sony camera, uh, which I film a lot with at home or when I go other places when I'm not running, I use that to film and that fits on that gimbal. So um, yeah, it, it, they're both great gimbals, but uh, just for different purposes. And if not for that, the fact that the Shining Crane M2 is not waterproof, uh, yeah, t t tends me towards using the Fabiotech G5 because uh, yeah, if I go to a race and all of a sudden it starts raining, I can't stop filming because my gimbal is not waterproof. So therefore, yeah, I prefer the Fabiotech over the Cheyenne Crane M2. Now the differences between the G5 and the G6. The uh, G6 is a great update on the G5. It has a couple of extras on there, the LCD screen and the extra buttons. It makes the different functionalities on there a, a little bit easier to use than on the G5. Uh, battery life is also improved, although for the G5, uh, I've never done a run that I actually ran out of battery. Uh, I think battery life on the G5 is 8 hours, on the G6 it's either 9 or 12 hours, depending on which manual you read. I haven't been able to test actual battery life, but uh, no way that I'm going to do a run that's going to take me 9 hours. So for me, uh, there's plenty of batteries. Uh, battery life on the G5 or the G6. Now, uh, price-wise, if you're looking to buy a gimbal, if you, yeah, if you're on a budget, then you might want to go for the G5. It's a great gimbal to use. I've used it with pleasure for years now, since my first video until this week's video. It's a great gimbal to use. If you want to have a little bit of extra on there, uh, spend a little bit of extra money. Then you have the LCD screen, and the, the buttons that just make functioning a little bit easier.
but both are great gimbals and yeah I, I can recommend both really so again John thank you so much for sending me the gimbal I'm, I love it and I'm looking forward to using it a lot on my runs um, if you have any questions about uh, getting a gimbal or using a gimbal, uh, if you have any questions that you think I should make another video about, let me know down in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. Now, until next time, get out there and run.